All right, guys. Uh, myself, Lovepreet Verma. I'm the founder of this company. Welcome to Vineyard English. Today, I'll take demo class. It will take approximately 35 to 40 minutes. If you would have any question, you can ask the question even in the mid of presentation. I would be happy to answer. And uh, in this demo, I will not cover. I will not cover what is IELTS or how many modules will be there because I assume you know the basic information. We'll discuss how modules will be there in the real classes, what services will provide you, and we'll discuss writing tasks too, how to get more than seven bands. Uh, there is one person from Oppo Mobile. May I know the name, please? Right, guys, kindly uh, mute yourself for the background noises there. So guys, we are the first institute in India having PhD English experts. None of the, um, you know, normal centers having trainer, those who just achieve six or seven each student turn into trainer, but we don't hire such trainers. We hire only experts. So we have PhD English experts in our team. We have IDP and BC certified trainers. So you get, your trainer will be certified trainer, IDP or BC certified. You're going to get training from only experts. Zoom live in, live, live instructor led classes will be there every day. One and a half hour to one hour 45 minute class will be there every day from Monday till Friday. Saturday there will be mock test and Sunday we share resource material. One digital account we will provide you in which you can attempt 160 test. Yes, this digital account will provide you for six months in which you can attempt 160 test, five full length mock test. This is apart from live classes. We will provide you live classes. In addition to that, you can do lots of practice at your own end in your free time. And this account will be activated for six months, whether you're going to join us for one month or two months. One mobile application we will provide you in which you can see our past sessions, 200 plus sessions. You can review from the different trainer, whatever happened till today, you can review all past sessions as well. And you will be able to see your own recorded session. For an example, if you're going to attend session today, it's going to be recorded at the back end in our system and you will be able to review next day. So similarly, you can review every class of yours next day even after a month you can review entire month regular assignments will be there regular feedback will be there five full length mock test will provide you in the digital account addition to this there on saturday there will be mock test so in a month you will have almost nine mock tests now let me show you the live interface of the digital account Guys, is this account is visible to all of you? It says Vineyard English logo here. Verma is written here. Just respond, please. Yes. Thank you. What about Ami, Neeraj, Neha? Is this yeah, account? This is yes. Okay, great. Yes. <clears throat> this is. Yes. Okay. Just give me a second, please. So guys, after enrollment, we will provide you this type of account in which your name will be here. And once you click on online test, you will be able to see two modules, IELTS Academic, IELTS Journal. You will have access to both domains. It's not like you are a student of journal and you will be having only journal material. So if you click on IELTS Academic, you will be able to see academic full length mock test. 152 minutes, 82 question. Once you click here, the mock test will start. First listening will start. Once you will finish with listening, reading will start automatically. Once you will finish with reading, writing will start automatically. It's going to be uh, going to have the similar pattern you're going to have uh, going to face in the real IELTS exam. And once you will done with any test, you will be able to see your own analysis. How many wrong you did, how many right you did. And once you click on academic readings, you will, there will be five sections. Every section further going to be have five readings in it. 40 questions, 60 minutes. So five readings, five into five, 25 academic readings will be there. If you click on listening, 25 listenings will be there. If you click on writings, there will be five sections and every section further going to be have five 
another section and every five another section going to have two question writing task one writing task two every test is going to have going to be time bounded test just like real IELTS exam so five into two ten ten into five fifty you're going to be have 50 writing task here similarly in case of journal you will have five full length journal mock test 25 journal readings here 25 listenings there just give me a second yeah 25 journal readings 25 listenings and then 50 writing task journal writing task will be there so guys this is the account which will which you will have an access for six months apart from this we'll give you one mobile application if you go to our website venueenglish.com in the download section you will be able to see one mobile application after enrollment once you will download it will provide you a license key once you will fill the license key you will see this kind of screen if you're a student of journal you will be able to see journal videos your own video sessions plus previous 200 plus video session you will be able to explore everything now coming back to the presentation guys is everything clear till this point guys about this resource account or this mobile application absolutely thank you what about others ami amir neeraj yeah yeah okay all right so these are the two unique thing that we are providing and apart from this guys uh, this is the schedule we keep on changing the schedule as per the demand of the class monday to friday classes will be there two to three module will be covered vocabulary session will be there on every day speaking will be there formal speaking will be there every day and right away you'll get the feedback and it would be one-to-one -one speaking not like entire group is discussing no everyone will be on the mute phase only student and trainer will be on unmute phase we have small groups we do not give admission to non-sincere students so our groups are very focused and sincere just like one-to-one -one touch will be there and you're going to get writing task assignment every day and you'll get the feedback so basically in india students are facing more trouble in writing and speaking sections so we are putting some extra emphasis on these because our focus that our student of journal get a triple seven minimum a triple seven and seven plus for academics so monday to friday classes saturday there will be mock test all four module will be assessed in depth and your trainer will check your performance every saturday on sunday we share blogs study material videos and tips so that we can provide uh, we can add value to your learning so this is how our trainer evaluate writing task in depth as per idp and bc standards once you will get uh, any assignment in your group uh, and you will share the assignment in the group we will allot you one whatsapp group in which your trainer will be there and you will get entire material in your group and assignments as well once you will finish any assignment and share in the group your trainer will pick up your assignment and mark the assignment as per idp and bc standards task achievement coherence and cohesion lexical resource grammatical range and accuracy everything will be assessed on as per the idp and bc standards now i'm going to show you guys how our listening is going to be there in our classes how our readings going to be there in our classes and after that we'll discuss how to get more than seven bands in writing section so just stay there stay here in the class it would take a your voice is breaking hi is my voice is breaking still yeah May no, right now it's okay but then in between it was breaking when you were explaining the whole okay i'll i'll, I'll explain it uh, again so guys now i will explain you how the listening is going to be there in our classes so initially on listening day your trainer will explain you initial five to ten minutes listening tips how many listening questions will be there in the real IELTS exam where to focus where not to focus how to attempt certain questions if you will have certain queries like you're facing difficulty in map kind of questions you can ask your trainer how to solve it then he or she will explain you the logic behind it so once you will get five to ten minutes tips and training 
your trainer will ask you to write down 1 to 40 numbers on your notepad on your notepad so that you can write down the answers simultaneously you would be watching the video i'm going to play this video just for 30 seconds guys so you will be able to see the quality of the listenings i'm going to play it just for 30 seconds so kindly listen Listen carefully. You to start on October the second, and I'm available from May the first. Streets, including the city's first department store, built in the. It's completely blank. Uh, hi, didn't you hear anything? Yeah, I could hear, but a little bit. Little bit. Let me play it again. Application form by Friday this week. We can oh. interview. you on Tuesday blank. next week say half past two would that be possible for you yes it's fine you're quite a long way from where I live so I'll drive over on now turn to section three films it really brings the play to life doesn't it yeah. okay was it audible to you Neha no yeah it was but in between it actually went blank anyhow i could understand i've already seen this so video yeah blank the blank day. was there because beep was there actually i didn't play entire video i was just played it so that you guys can check the you know clarity of right. the sound so i just right, right. yeah well, so yeah pause was there that's why it seems like blank right so guys uh there is one person from 7D249 ID. May I know the name, please? Because I need to uh, understand who's the, who's in the class. There is one person from Oppo Mobile, Oppo A3S. Kindly rename your ID, guys, or let me know. I will rename. There is one person from 7D249631 ID. Kindly rename your ID. Or one person from Oppo Mobile. All right, guys. So once your trainer will inform you tips and trainings after that this kind of video will be played from 1 till 40th question once you will write the answers from 1st till 40th the real answers will be shown to you by the trainer and he or she will dictate all the answers from 1st till 40th and if you would have any query any question for an example 26th you got c instead of a you can ask your trainer, I got C and why it is A. Then he or she will go back to 26th question and explain you the logic behind it. Why it is A and why it is not C. Now, this is how our listenings will be there in the classes, guys. I will show you now how the readings will be there. So on the reading day, basically, similarly, 5 to 10 minutes, he or she will explain you the tips and training, what kind of real uh, the reading questions will be there in the real IELTS exam, where to focus, where not to focus. After that, this kind of screen will be shown to you. You will do three to four readings of this kind on the reading day. First, he or she will inform you what, how to read the instructions, how to read the questions, how to mark the keywords. After that, you will be given eight to 10 minutes to read the paragraph. Once you will read the paragraph in eight to 10 minutes and come up with certain answers, the real answers will be shown to you. And still, if you would have any doubt, like 12th, you got C instead of E, you can ask your trainer, I got C and why it is E. Then he or she will explain you the logic behind it, why it is E and why it is not. See, why I'm saying that you would have full freedom to ask your trainer about your queries and questions in the class. So this is the reading will be there in your classes. Now we will discuss how to get more than seven bands in writing task. Is everything clear till this point, guys? Kindly confirm. 
Yes. yes. Thank you. What about others? Neeraj, Ami? Yes. Uh, your voice, your okay. voice is breaking. Yeah, it's clear. My voice is clear or breaking, guys? Tell me. Clear? Neeraj still breaking? Neha, is my voice is clear now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Neeraj, check your connection, please, because sometime uh, your, you know, individual connection or your connection may having, you know, slow speed. That could be the reason because other students are getting my voice properly. You can log off and log in again using the same link. All right, guys. Basically, to get higher bands in writing is a task for many students. There are four pillars, four parameters on which the writing score is going to be assessed by the IDP and BC people. Guys, keep yourself on the mute, please, and put your 100% focus. It's going to help you really in the real time how to get more than seven bands. So there are four parameters, four pillars on which the writing score is going to be assessed. First is task achievement and response. Second is coherence and cohesion. Third is lexical resource. Fourth is grammatical range and accuracy. Every pillar is having zero to nine bands. If you get six band here, seven here, 5.5 here, 6.5 here, then the average of these four will be your band score of writing task two. Now, what is task achievement and response? Task achievement and response implies how you're going to achieve the task, how you're going to respond the task whether you're going to write down all the essential factors of writing task two or not for an example as introduction alone has three parts background information or journal comment paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement if you miss any of these three parts you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response Second condition is if you will write down less than 250 words in writing task two, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. Third, if you write down irrelevantly, your content is not relevant to the task. Task is asking about hills, you're writing about C. That is irrelevant. Still, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. Similarly, coherence and cohesion implies a perfect linkage between ideas, lines and paragraphs. A perfect connectivity should be there. An ideal writing task too must be connected from the first from the first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion with the help of connectors, linkers, furthermore, moreover, besides, in addition to that, firstly, secondly, thirdly. Now, lexical resource, it implies what type uh, of... Lapid, I missed that portion. I mean, uh, I don't know. The voice uh, was not there. So if you can just, again... Sure, please. Which portion? Coherence and cohesion, Neha? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So coherence and cohesion implies a perfect linkage and connectivity between lines, paragraph, and ideas. An ideal writing task, too, must be linked properly from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion with the help of connectors. Firstly, secondly, thirdly, in addition to moreover, furthermore, additionally, besides just like that. Okay. Now, lexical resource means what type of vocabulary you're going to use, whether you're going to use simple vocabulary word or high vocabulary words. Some students just use high vocabulary words, super flowery language, and they you know, end up with five or 5.5 bands because they use irrelevant vocabulary. That vocabulary words eventually alter the entire meaning of the passage or the paragraph. So we will not use any vocabulary word which will not show up. Grammatical range and accuracy means what type of grammatical structure you're going to use, whether you're going to use simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, or complex compound sentence, you're going to write down in a passive voice, even punctuation matters. So we teach our students in our classes how to work on these four pillars, 
four parameters because on regular basis we attend IDP and BC seminars, so we know these things in detail. So we'll teach you how to work on these four pillars constructively. Any doubt, guys, about it? So far, good. Yes, please. No doubt. Neha, is my voice is audible? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but, all right. All right. So, guys, these are the five types. Yeah. Of I was sorry for this. Uh, there is a disturbance in your voice. I'm unable to listen to you properly. Still, you are unable to listen to me? Hello? Sir, it might be due to your network connection. I will, I will be sharing the video recording of this video to everyone. So if you miss anything, you can listen after that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, that will be great. You can uh, send me a dot. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure, Thank sir. You. Thank you. All right, guys. Sorry for that. So, guys, these are the five type of essays. Any one type of essay will come into the real IELTS exam. Opinionating essay will be there. Advantage, disadvantage, discussion essays, problem solution essays, direct question essays. Now, every type of S is having its own treatment. We cannot apply one treatment to all of the S's. So we teach our students how to deal with each type of S's in the classes. Now, this is the high band S structure, guys. You can take screenshot of it if you want. And if you will follow this structure, definitely you'll get more than seven bands in writing. As I said, introduction alone has three parts, background information or journal comment, paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement. Now, if you will miss any of these three, three parts, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. Now, what is background information? Background information is an information which tells something about the topic in the past. For an example, in yesteryears or previous years, people used to wear simple clothes, but with the advent of modernization and globalization, masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing. So what we did, we, sh we have shown the extent from the past till the present, what used to happen in the past and what is going on these days. So I use masses instead of people. We'll not use people, people again. We'll use synonym as masses is the synonym of people. Now, on certain occasions, it's hard to make the background information due to the sensitivity of time. In that scenario, you can write down a journal comment. Journal comment is just like nowadays, people tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to modernization and globalization. Now, plus paraphrase the topic. Paraphrase is basically an art. You need to convert the question into your own words in the introduction. You cannot write down the exact question in the introduction. You have to convert it in the, with the different words in the introduction. That is called paraphrasing. Some people believe that others are against to this view, just like that. Now, plus thesis statement. Thesis statement is a great indicator to the reader that what we're going to write down in bod for the body paragraph. I am going to discuss this view in subsequent paragraph or in, in upcoming paragraphs along this statement will indicate the reader or examiner what we're going to write down in further body paragraph. It also links the introduction with the body paragraph. Remember guys, coherence and cohesion. So it builds coherence and cohesion between introduction and body paragraph. Now in the body paragraph, it has been seen that Many students just write down so many points, 10, 15 points. They end up with five or 5.5 bands. Why? Because they fail to elaborate. They fail to justify the points. IDP and BC people says you need to write down only one point in one paragraph, not more than that. Explain it well, elaborate it well, support it with example. That's it. Your paragraph is ready to write. To write a writing task too, you just need two to three points, guys, not more than that. I'll explain this, these all concepts step by step in upcoming slides. Now, in conclusion, you need to sum up the entire gist, sum up the entire debate or whatever you're going to write down, or you can rephrase your opinion. In the introduction, you need to paraphrase 
similarly with the different word in the conclusion you need to rephrase it and entire writing task too should not be less than 250 words and don't go beyond 300 words if you go beyond 300 words might be chances of having more errors grammatical errors so some people are thinking might be thinking how to count words so guys count just one line and if there would be 10 words and you have written 26 lines you would be on the safer side so you can multiply lines into words now give me a second please so guys in our classes we have many activities in the writing session basically we have brainstorming activities so this is the question which came into the real IELTS exam now this is a small activity which we will do together i will write it down you will give me points don't leave the class it will take approximately 10 to 15 more minutes and it will help you to understand the things in a better way in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in, than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development so guys one by one tell me the advantages of living alone just imagine yourself you are living alone in canada on student visa or as an immigrant tell me the advantages of living alone one by one ami amir anant neeraj neha pankaj uh, you get your own privacy firstly very good so one can enjoy full privacy very good point no one will be there to disturb or you know, interrupt so one can enjoy guys if there is a background noise kindly mute yourself and if not then open your mic yes amir next point you can, you can come out to be a dependent person uh, independent person yes one will become independent yeah very good point so one will become self-dependent or independent anand your turn well you get to make your own decisions and take responsibility for it wonderful sir so one will become more responsible one there will be more exposure one will expose to new cultures new things new people new activities right so more exposure will be there neha okay neha covered there is pankaj uh, i already told the point independent neeraj okay anyone would like to contribute so just imagine yourself you're living alone in canada what would be the advantages of living alone we covered full privacy one will become independent, more responsible one will be, and more exposure will be there. What could be other factors? Neha. Uh, if in case a person is uh, that has it, one needs to do all the, you know, the chores and everything. So then we'll have to do it. So one can become more energetic okay very good point we can write down one will learn new skills such as because one has to do all all the activities alone right so ultimately he or she will become more skillful so one will learn new skills such as what is the basic skill guys you will learn once you will live alone cooking very good point so now you are imagining yourself so yeah i'm just kidding so yes one will learn you know new skills such as cooking cleaning of house see the basic Doing activities. laundry yeah. yeah laundry right so basic activities or you can add uh, financial factor as well one will learn how to manage budget so budget management skills so one will learn how to manage budget because uh, one has to do, you know, one will do job over there, work there, earn money, spend money, save money. So you'll learn budget management skills over there. You can also pursue or embrace new hobbies such as singing, dancing, meditation, book reading, lot more, right? 
any other point guys so we can add one more point like one will learn the true value of family what because many people don't realize the true worth of family when they're living with family they take it take it as granted when they start living apart from the family they know the true worth of the family so somehow people get to know the real value of family good guys now tell me the biggest disadvantage of living alone guys yes neeraj one by one everyone uh, you have to manage the time accordingly if you are working you have to see your work uh, home jobs and all these things okay. manage the time all right so lack of family support one has to do all the activities alone no one will be there to help right even in case of emergency right so du during this covid period those who used to live alone and those who suffered from covid they know how difficult it was right yeah good point next neha what is the biggest disadvantage of living alone what you will feel guys if you, you miss the culture actually uh, if you are like uh, Out of your own country, so you miss the culture, the lack of uh, all those, you know, missing all those festivals and everything. Yeah, somehow lack of cultural activities. But if you're living in the same country, living apart from the family, this won't be there. So, yes, it could be the point. But whatever we will write, we have to justify. So always keep this thing in the mind. Whatever you will write, you have to exemplify it. You have to justify it, right? so yes because one topic has you know plethora of points number of points thousands of points we will not write down all the points whatever we will write down will justify it will explain it will justify it. all right guys tell me the biggest disadvantage none of uh, you guys has covered yet um, what you will feel once you will live yeah. alone so imagine you are living alone in canada what you will okay. feel very good point yes ma'am home sickness this is the biggest one home sickness so people those who live alone they feel home sickness due to home sickness they feel loneliness due to loneliness people fall into depression so or medical people, condition get deteriorate and that is yes they... or people fall into bad companies they start taking drugs or intoxications right people start uh, yeah so like this we have to create one umbrella point one main point like home sickness people feel, feel home sickness due to home sickness they feel loneliness and owing to loneliness they fall into depression or bad company so we have to link the ideas remember coherence and cohesion with the help of coherence and cohesion technique we have to link lines as well as paragraph very good point yes home sickness now we can see lack of safety as well if he or she is living alone and bad people come to know they may take advantage of it right lack of safety add one financial point as well so people face financial crisis those who live alone because in the family settings two three working hand would be there they you know support each other but once he or she is living alone he or she has to bear all the expense no doubt expenses would be lesser than the family expenses but he or she has to bear all the expenses alone car rent car fuel on insurance home mortgage etc all right any other point guys any new point pankaj neha anand ami neeraj i have a question actually yes uh, you just explained that uh, in uh, you know the writing task to we have to write to three paragraphs like say and then in every paragraph we just have to mention one point elaborated with an mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. now that we have written advantages and disadvantages so many mm -hmm. points are there so do we have to explain each and every no, point no, 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 or is no. it that the main point that we have to pick and explain it and then with an example we can just finish off that paragraph yes neha that's what i'm 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 just what we are doing basically it's a brainstorming activity 
in every mm-hmm. class you will find brainstorming activity in which you guys will you know give different different views and your trainer will write it down from these points okay. you can pick so why we do the basic purpose behind this activity is as per our analysis as per our research when student go and face real ielts exam conditions they feel blank over there like points are not coming to their mind or points are jumbled over there to overcome this kind of disability we have integrated a brainstorming activity in our writing classes so once your brain will start functioning in this direction on every day basis you will start generating content once you will start doing this activity in the real ielts exam you will have enough points and you will select two to three points you will write down in a you know a right order you will explain it well you will justify the point you will write down writing task 2 or 1 in less than the given time you got my point so basically this activity is just to generate yeah. content this is not like we going we going to write down all the points uh, in the paragraph we'll write down one to two points two to three points we'll explain the points we'll justify the points that's it. i'll 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 come to that point in upcoming slides okay all right so thank you so much guys for participating in this activity the entire purpose behind this activity is to generate content to help you to generate content so that you won't feel helpless in the real ielts exam now i will explain the same topic using this method just pay attention to this all right in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development now guys this kind of question you can cater in three ways you can attempt in three ways you can write down all the paragraph in the positive manner or you can write down all the paragraph in negative manners or you can balance the statement you can show the extent it has 70% positive consequences and 30% negative ones you can you cannot write down 50 50 you have to show the extent these days many people choose to live alone especially in metropolitan areas and this rate is for higher in developed countries such as canada and seems like this has become quite normal there see the length of the sentence it is a complex sentence in which we cover journal comment and paraphrase together now in the question it is being asked do you think this is a positive or negative development examiner is asking and we have to answer it in the introduction i believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers so we have shown our extent what we are thinking let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion this is a thesis line which basically indicates the reader that what we going to do further in body paragraph it also links the introduction with the body paragraph coherence and cohesion now i'm uh, sorry to interrupt you i have a query out there sure so you mentioned let us discuss the topic in detail so we are having uh, we are writing an essay for example mm-hmm. we are not discussing it with someone so is that word appropriate would we get marked down on that word let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion this is a thesis line sir because examiner is asking us whether it is a positive or negative development we have shown our extent let us discuss it's a phrase you can so, use yeah. another so phrase so my point as was we are presenting our views towards it but we are not discussing it with somebody right it's, we are just putting our views on a paper we don't have another person to discuss those with so from from that perspective um, mm-hmm. i just i'm curious to know if we would get marked down no no sir you can write it down let us discuss this is a phrase you cannot write down let me discuss no you cannot write down it let me discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion that's going to be very personal but let us discuss but still you can write down another phrase there is no hard and fast rule you can write it down the entire purpose uh, describing uh, of this is we have to write down the thesis line if you will miss the thesis line you will get the full points of task achievement response you got my point so why i'm saying this you can write down another line as well as per you think but this is important to write down the thesis line you got my point sir yes i did yeah. thank you i'm just describing the you know uh, the structure as well side by side so that 
uh, how to get higher band. So there are three things that are Im important. Journal comment, paraphrase, thesis line. These three things should be there in the introduction. Now, in the body paragraph, guys, what you need to do, you need to write down one point, elaborate it well, cite an example. Now, what is the one point? The single person family, those who live alone, we call it single person family, is seen to be positive from better personal skill development and economical perspective. So we have written two things in the single line. How it is going to be better? That is elaboration part that we're going to elaborate it now. That is that we're going to explain a single member family. Now we jumble the words. As I said, we use synonyms. Forces a person to learn some basic skills, including cooking, cleaning the house, paying the utility bills, managing personal finance, purchasing daily commodities, adopting hobbies and many more important skills. Till this point, guys, we have covered how it is beneficial as per personal skill development. Now we'll touch the economical perspective. This makes someone self-dependent, which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense. In a broader sense means if one will become self-dependent, he or she will earn money, he or she will pay taxes, which eventually be beneficial for the economy. So we have covered the economical perspective as well. For instance, research shows that students who stay away from their home for their tertiary degrees, higher degrees, learn more skills and become more self-dependent than people who study from home. Here we have shown the comparison of those students who study from home and those who study far from home. And we have shown those who study far from home inculcator some skills, more skills and become more self-dependent. So guys, you can make an example, you can fabricate an example. It's not important example should be from the journal or from newspaper. No, the whole, the entire idea of example is that it should be supporting to your main point. So we will write down one point, we'll elaborate it well, we'll cite an example to support our point. That is the entire idea behind this. Now in the second paragraph, As we have balanced the statement in the first paragraph, we have written all the positives like 70% positive. In the second paragraph, we'll write down 30 negatives. From the opposite viewpoint, the trend of increasing single person family has few negative outcomes as well. How it is negatives, Kaise has that we're going to describe now. The increasing trend of living alone has direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problem these days. Those who live alone suffer more from psychological problems. Living alone creates loneliness and depression. Whereas those who live in a family settings always find someone to share their sadness and stress. Again, we have shared the comparison of those who live alone and those who live in a family settings. The isolation often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative. How? For example, a recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because no one will be there to stop. The human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency. For many, bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved into crimes. So guys, what we did, we write down one point, we elaborated from this point till this point, we cite an example to support our main point. In the conclusion, you need to start it with some concluding phrases to encapsulate, to sum up at that. The number of single person families increasing in this contemporary era, modern era, and this has omnifarious. Omnifarious is the synonym of various. This has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences. So we reinforced our idea. Whatever we have written in the introduction with the different word we have written in the conclusion, we rephrase it. Hence, one can learn numerous cardinal skills, important skills of life if he or she choose to live alone. So guys, this is the end of writing task. If you have any question, I would be happy to answer. I just described it using this method. Any question?
Ami, Anant, Neeraj, Neha, Pankaj, and all. Any question, guys? Or should I start with speaking? Yes, please carry on. Thank you. No question, Neha, Neeraj, Kadupa Patel just joined, Pankaj. I'm okay. Uh, you have mentioned that we should use connectors for, uh, you know, whenever we are starting a mm -hmm. paragraph. So we mm -hmm. do. So, but in the between as well, you can. In the between, you can also use connector. See, for okay. instance, is also a connector. Mm -hmm. Thesis okay. line is also a connector. That is the basic parameter. You can write down as per... But it depends from question to question as we are discussing the... Yeah, you cannot write down every connector Nothing everywhere, scary. right? You you cannot con yeah, yeah, you yeah. know use every connector anywhere. No, you have to see the relevancy factor. Otherwise, you won't get the mm -hmm. task achievement and response bands. You have to add relevant content. What I explained, it is just an example. You can write it in a in your own way. Might be you can write far better than this, right? It's just an example. So what I explained, you have to use these four things in your writings. Implement so these. Is, four is it like mandate? Is it like mandate to uh, like whenever there is a uh, question like you know uh, asking for the view or like advantage, disadvantage, like we just discussed. So it's like uh, we have to mention one uh, positive, one negative point, or is it like we can go for the all the positive points or all the negative points like that? Uh, Neha explained this at the beginning. You can write this kind of essay in three ways. You can write on entire paragraph, all the paragraph in the positive manners. You can write all the paragraph in the negative manners, or you can balance the statement. It's up to you. Everything has its pros and cons, oh. right? Even meditation having its own, you know, darker sides. So it's up to you how you're going to frame the paragraphs, right? You can, it's, it's your, it's up to you. It's, there is a full freedom, but what you're going to write it down, the idea behind is what you're going to write it down. You have to explain it well, you have to justify it, right? Right. Thank you. All right, guys. So at the end of every section, at the end of every class, there will be a speaking section. There would be vocabulary section as well. I'm not going to show you that. Uh, there will be speaking section every day for sure. One to one speaking. Everyone will be on the mute face speaker and one student will be on unmute face and you'll get the feedback right away. So basically in the speaking session, you have to prepare the topic in less than one minute in the real IELTS exam the exam will be from 11 till 14 minute three section will be there first section you will have introduction questions examiner will ask you simple question or introductory questions uh, tell me something about your town your previous studies in the second round there will be cue card section this kind of cue card will be given to you you have to prepare the cue card in less than one minute and we teach our student to prepare in less than uh, you know one minute with the help of uh, spider diagram or uh, uh, WH methods and other methods. What you have to do, you need to quickly introduce the topic in one to two lines and quickly you need to cover these bullet points in two, three lines and conclude the topic in one line, add a connector, furthermore, moreover, additionally, in addition to that and extend the topic at length you want to extend. You have to speak up for minimum two minutes, maximum, no limit. Examiner will stop you in the mid, but make sure you conclude the topic before your examiner will stop you. Now, how to generate the content? That is a question for many. How to speak up for more than two minutes? Guys, use the power of imagination. We teach our students how to use the power of imagination. Now, power of imagination says you can add even those points which are not existing in the real time. For an example, if uh, examiner will ask me to describe my hometown, 
I would say I live at Ludhiana. It is a cosmopolitan. We have a wonderful lake on the southern side where people love to visit in the evening. We have skyscrapers, multifarious plazas in our city. We have world's renowned university in our city. We have world's oldest church in our city and our city is having perfect infrastructure. Whether there is world's oldest church there or not, still we can say that. Examiner is not going to check the facts of the conversation. He, is, he or she is going to check your fluency, sentence structure, whether you're going to achieve the task or not, your vocabulary, your gestural language, your confidence, your relevancy. All these things going to be marked, but not the facts. Any question, guys? Uh, yeah, uh, you mentioned that you need to conclude the statement uh, like before the exam stopped, like exam stopped you. Mm -hmm. So if exam stopped you at like two minutes, so but you have not concluded that. So mm -hmm. is there you, any bad? Yes, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. In speaking task achievement and response, they says uh, you didn't, uh, you know, mentioned the length of the speaking, the required length or you didn't cover the required content which is being given the bullet points if if you will if you fail to cover like two points you covered only two points or you missed one point one bullet point you will look, you will not get full bands of task achievement and response you got my points hope i cleared your question mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So that means that within two minutes, we have to uh, finish it off. I mean, in that case, I would say less than one and a half minute. You have to cover the content. You have to add a connector. You have to extend the topic with different words, different vision so that if examiner will stop you after one and a half minute, still you, you know, you would cover your marks. You will not lose your marks. So you have to save your you know site you have to save your site like you have to introduce the topic cover the bullet points you need to conclude the topic adding a connector start you know extending extending the content and if the examiner will stop you at that point no worries still you would cover your points thank you you're welcome all. so guys this is the end of session those who wish to join our expert sessions uh, just share your email address. I showed you everything, how our readings will be there, how our listenings will be there, how the reading, uh, writing sessions will be there and speaking will be there. And we'll provide you this mobile app. It will be validated for six months. This account will provide you. It will be validated for six months. And our support will be there with you till you pass your exam. And you can also see our reliability on Google go to Google. Let me show you guys. If you go to Google, just type Vineyard English, our brand name. You will be able to see the authenticity. We are registered government registered institute, educational institute. And you will be able to see our recent results over there as well. Just uh, go a little down, see our results. And you can also review uh, read our reviews. Once you will click on our reviews, you will be able to see until today we have 127 five star reviews, guys. Not a single four star reviews or below four star review. All the reviews are five star, and you can read all the reviews from our uh, you know students, and you can also see our students' uh, uh, TRF in the uh, we have shared many TRFs. So explore about us guys, you will be able to uh, come to know about us. Authenticity and those who wish to join us, just share your email where you got uh, uh, got this uh, link and we would, we would be happy to serve you. Any question guys, this is the end of the session. I would be happy to answer if you have any question. Nothing, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much Neha. Thank you so much everyone for sparing your precious time. Uh, I'm obliged for that.